friends i just wanted to give you one last short update of the year 2014 um, yeah my december daily art journal this year <laughs> it kind of turned into a, a december b daily not even that <laughs> but i already knew that beforehand i already mentioned that in November, in my last, last uh, newsletter, I already mentioned that in my blog post, that I um, wasn't sure if this year I would be able to do it on a daily basis, and I didn't want to put too much pressure on me, or extra pressure on me with this. So um, I just created a page whenever I had the time and whenever um, I kind of felt like creating a page, and you might have seen them already on my blog. I kind of filled 10 pages, <clears throat> 10 pages I think, um, with those ornament trees and the little bird with our Christmas tree and this mixed media page, a little reindeer and my winter girl. I think this is my favorite. Um, and the little <laughs> Scandinavian. Christmas dolls and some Christmas ornaments. I love this one too. Yeah, and some Christmas cookies. So there's still some pages left. But there was just, I don't know, too much going on. Um, you know, besides that, you know, I, I made those little printout sketches for you. Still had to do some stuff for my online classes. Um, I also, like I said before, um, did a little more of personal journaling and art journaling um, this December. Um, so I did that part in my my Dory Traveler's Notebook. Uh, and I filled quite some pages in here. Um, just with some personal journaling and things we did. Um, during December, you know, concerts we visited, um, just some personal journaling of stuff that was going on, lots of writing, lots of really personal stuff. And yeah, to me that kind of was, I don't know, a little, um, a little bit more important um, this year, I think, um, and that's why I kind of went um, with some more personal December daily art journaling or journaling instead of just painting and drawing because I don't know if it doesn't come you know straight from your heart then it doesn't make a lot of sense so I didn't want to do some paintings and drawings in my art journal just because I had to um, and I just went <laughs> with what felt right to me and uh, doing a little more you know personal journaling just felt right to me because this year, you know, it was kind of, um, <sighs> there were a lot of things going on in 2014, a lot of things we didn't, uh, didn't expect, you know, uh, family-wise, uh, I don't know, my, my uh, father-in-law died in February, um, very suddenly, nobody expected that, and uh, we've already had a, also had a pretty rough time with my dad, I know he's, um, He's 77 and he had a pretty rough time and a bad surgery on his back. So he uh, pretty much knocked him out and uh, he spent two months in hospital and uh, still is recovering. And uh, you know, it's going up and down, up and down. It's like a roller coaster ride. You know, they're good days, they're bad days. But uh, so we kind of had a lot of family things going on this year. Um, and yeah, but but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put too much negative <laughs> uh, energy into this video because, you know, on the other side, um, even though all those not so good things happened, um, also a lot of good things happened during the year. There are a lot of things that, you know, I'm super, super grateful for and thankful for. And I always try to, you know, keep those positive things that happened. Um, in my heart too because it kind of makes it a little more um, balanced 
because you, you know you tend to only see the bad things that happen and you kind of feel a lot of self-pity and uh, really frustrated and but you know just keep in mind all those positive things that happened and it kind of makes it a little more balanced <laughs> and really a lot of positive and good things happened um, I know I had many many great business opportunities and great uh, opportunities you know to um, move forward with my with my art with my painting with my drawing and I'm super thankful for that I'm so 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 thankful for you know um, your support um, for all, everybody who you know booked my online classes and um, who really you know put a lot of trust into me and my work and um, my ability to teach and um, yeah I'm really so thankful for your support and you can't imagine that <laughs> it's it really means a lot to me and it's still um, kind of incredible for me um, that, um, that you know there are people out there who really like my art and, and like my art enough to, to you know put that trust in, into me and into my classes to be able to teach them and it makes me so happy to see when you know when you share your work with me and um, to read that you're proud of what you achieved and um, yeah I'm, I'm really thankful for that and grateful and it makes me happy and it really makes me look forward to 2015 uh, and to do more, more art and to share more of my art and I have yeah lots of fun things planned for 2015 I kind of um, also make some changes for the new year for the next year because I just realized, you know, this year that I have to make some changes in order to <laughs> stay sane. <laughs> um, you know, you try to be all over the place and you try to, um, you know, um, what is it called? Um, to, you know, to make it right for everybody, but that's just impossible. And no matter how hard you try, you can't do that. So, um, yeah, my word, I don't know, if, if you have a word for uh, 2015, please share with me. I always love to hear um, other people's words of the year. Um, my word for 2015 is um, embrace. And it kind of has so many meanings for me. Like embrace things that happen and the way they happen and embrace the imperfect. Um, embrace myself, embrace yeah, just what life gives you. Because I'm a person who, you know, um, if something's not right, I will try everything that's possible to make it right. And it's driving me nuts because I'm, you know, running like a, a little hamster in a wheel <laughs> uh, just to make everything right. But it's, I just have to accept and embrace the things the way they are and uh, learn to that it's learn that it's not possible to you know change everything and and um, you know be the person who kind of makes everything right you know if something's wrong with somebody or with something I always think that I'm a person who has to fix it who has to make it right and who has to worry and has to do something and so I have to learn to let that go and that it's not um, yeah not what is necessary, you know, to, you know, do it all. <laughs> so what, what was I actually about to say? Um, yeah, so I kind of made or planned, have some changes planned for 2015. Um, I will cut back my photography business a little bit. You know, I will still shoot weddings because that's what my heart beats for and that's what my, the major part of my wedding or um, of my photography business is about so I will still do weddings but I don't want to do at least in 2015 I can't you know talk about the, the future in general but in the next year I plan to do no studio shootings so no newborns no maternity shootings no stuff like that uh, and I will instead of that concentrate more on my art and on my online class because I know already um, as the past years have shown um, that 
it's just not possible to do it all, to do the weddings, to do studio shootings, to do the art, to do the online classes. You know, always something is kind of um, lacking attention, do you say that? And um, I don't want that. Because I think, you know, for example, if you, you, you know, you book my online classes, you pay for my online classes and uh, you just deserve um, me to be there 100% and not only 50 or 40 or 30% because I have so many other things to do. And um, yeah, it's, it's just, I just kind of always do what my heart <laughs> tells me and uh, that's how I, you know, always kind of did it over the past years and um, I always did something until I reached a point where it didn't felt right anymore and uh, yeah, that time would come now with the studio shooting. So for the next year, no more studio shootings and I'm pretty happy with that um, decision. I thought about it for quite a couple of months already. Um, so we, that's another thing <laughs> we did in December, that's why I kind of had even less time for my um, December daily art journal because we kind of moved, um, you know, we have upstairs, we have a large room, a large um, area where we did the photo studio and the photo shootings. And since I'm not going to use that in the next year as a photo studio, we kind of moved my art studio upstairs um, into that larger area and it's, ah, it's so great. <laughs> I'm so in love with it. It's, you know, you have, I have so much light in there and so much space. <laughs> um, I really love it. I will, I promise, I already told you before, I promise to do a studio tour, you know, to kind of film the studio for you. Um, I hope I still can squeeze that in between Christmas and the new year, but definitely in January you will get a studio tour, studio tour <laughs> of my new studio. And there's still some little things to tweak and to change and to kind of um, decorate. <clears throat> But um, it's already pretty cool, I love it. I think I can, yeah, I already took some pictures. I think I would just add them to the video right now. So you can see a couple of um, pictures at least of my new studio. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and all anxiety? For all anxiety, my dear, for all anxiety, we'll take a cup. my new studio and the old one which is kind of a little more like an office <laughs> so right now I have two spaces I have the space with my computer and the desk where I do like um, writing letters and uh, doing my journaling and doing my planning and my file fixing and I have this art studio upstairs with um, all those beautiful beautiful spots and I love it can't wait to dig into it in the new year lots more so yeah, I think that was it. I told you I would keep it short. I think it already got longer than I planned, but you know me and you know that um, once I start <laughs> to talk, <laughs> it kind of, um, yeah, it's not um, as short as I planned. But you love me for that, right? <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> okay, so I really wish you 
a very 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 merry christmas from the bottom of my heart i hope you will enjoy a couple of really awesome and peaceful and joyful days with your loved ones with your friends and family and um yeah i just hope that you will make some amazing beautiful memories over the holidays with your family and um, yeah just enjoy it and um, especially enjoy the, enjoy the time with your loved ones um, and with your parents if, you have, if they're still around and um, with everybody it's so important you know and um, yeah for the new year I wish you all the best lots and lots and lots of creativity and creative mojo and uh, yeah, again, thank you so much for your support during the year 2014. I really appreciate that so, so much. I'm so grateful for that. So happy for all of you um, and for all of your lovely comments and um, the work you share in the classes. And um, yeah, so thanks from the bottom of my heart. Wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. and. Can't wait to get started with 2015. I hope it will ha hold, you know, many many good things in store for all of us. And I've a couple of really cool, fun things planned um, for the new year. It will start with um, Life Book 2015, starting in January. You can still sign up for that, and um, also um, Creative Jumpstart 2015, which is also going to be super super fun all throughout January um, and there are more things to come which I can't really talk about yet but um, yeah expect <laughs> some fun surprises okay so thanks for watching thanks for being here thanks for your support and see you soon bye bye